Hey guys, after just passing 100 episodes on my main Clue Scroll only Iron Man series, I feel like I have some advice to give out to my fellow Clue Hunters. Often when I'm editing a video or something, I love AFK and content still to get clues. These are my top finds for AFK ways to get clue scrolls. If I forgot any, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to pin them. Also, thumbs up other comments that you think is a good method so they get boosted up to the top. Over two years ago, I made a video on best ways to get clue scrolls for Iron Man. Now, even though this is not very up to date anymore, if you're looking for active ways to get clue scrolls, that video link will be in the description. Without further ado, let's get started with beginner clues. Personally, I don't really AFK these much, but if you really want to, you can cannon goblins or minotaurs. Now, I'm not a big fan of using a cannon to get clues that are probably worth less than your cannonballs, but hey, it's really good for getting a lot of clues fast. It's a 1 in 64 from goblins and a 1 in 60 from minotaurs, but both also drop easy clues. While recording this video, I actually got a beginner clue, <laughs> so that'll tell you how fast they are. Let's quickly move to a less costly and actually a quite profitable method. When I was going for the Briofetus staff, I AFK'd most giants in the cat. If you're a little higher combat and you're looking for AFK mossy keys, beginner clues, Renar seeds, and some prayer XP, I strongly recommend this method. I post myself up in the middle of the Moss Giants in the current catacombs and tag all of them once and put auto retaliate on. A solid couple minutes of AFK, and if you have a Bone Crusher, you can even get a bunch of free prayer XP. On top of that, you can also collect Dark Totem pieces and a bunch of Renar and Snapdragon seeds. I actually maxed my combat stats here when I went for the Bryo Essence, but then again, I killed about 88,000 of these, so do not recommend doing that. For the lower levels, you could do the same thing, but on the Hill Giants. But of course, you won't have the benefit of the Renar and Snapdragon seeds. However, if you pick up the giant keys that these guys drop, which are now stackable, you can kill the boss Obor. Both Obor and Bryophyta, the hill giant and most giant boss, have a 100% chance of dropping a beginner clue. So on top of farming clues from these guys AFK, afterwards, you can kill these bosses for a 100% chance of another clue. You can even get your keys back at the end of it, and some nice juicy loot, including the Bryophytus Essence and the Hill Giant Club. At a very low level, you could do Alcarid Warriors. Once you tag one, all of them start piling on you. That's pretty AFK, and will give you a decent amount of combat XP on a low level. They have a drop rate of a 1 in 90 for beginner clues, and a 1 in 128 for easy clues, which makes it great for both. Talking about easy clues, let's get into those. To be honest, personally, I don't think I've ever AFK'd easy clues, because they're so nice to get from either ham members or gourmet implings, but I found a couple methods for you guys. Reiterating my previous point, minotaurs and goblins with a cannon are still fantastic ways of getting easy clues as well as beginner clues. You could also just AFK fishing and woodcutting. Now, these might not net you a bunch of clues like the other methods, but it is incredibly AFK, and you can easily get some clue bottles or some clue nests. I dig deep and I tried to find a method that might be good for you guys, and that is swamp crabs. Just like the sand crabs, the swamp crab is an AFK high hit points, low hitting mob, and it's located in Mauritania. They have a lower drop rate on easy clues, but are slightly harder to kill considering they have 50 defense as opposed to the one defense of a sand crab. The swamp crabs are located right here, on the way to sleep in the multi-combat area. They're shown as swampy logs, but when you get close, just like a rock crab, they will start attacking you. Now, I never advise AFKing in the wilderness, but this next method does maybe get a pass on that rule. I'm talking thugs in the Edgeville dungeon. They are literally in level 1 and 2 wilderness, so the chance of you getting PK'd is rather low. Thugs are always aggressive, so you can always auto-retaliate them until the 10 minute aggression timer is over. If you're wearing a Ring of Wealth Eye, which is just an imbue scroll from LMS used on your Ring of Wealth, you'll be able to reduce the drop rate from 1 in 128 to 1 in 64. For a mob that's level 10 with a max hit of 2 and only 18 HP, that is a pretty good rate to get easy clues from. I'd argue this is one of the best methods, but I just hate the wilderness, so I am not going near it. But I wish you all good luck if you're trying this. It's time for medium clues. Dagonoths under the lighthouse or in the catacombs. You can cannon these or you can melee auto retaliate. Both methods are entirely possible. I'd recommend the melee method, but hey, if you're shitting out cash or you want those ranger boots super fast, you might as well use a cannon. If you complete horror from the deep, you can put yourself under the lighthouse. Let the cannon auto retaliate do its thing and these Dagonoths are falling like flies. If you just want to train melee, pose up in the catacombs with your best prayer gear, bone crusher, and prayer potions, and you can almost indefinitely stay auto-retaliating here, because the bone crusher will automatically bury bones for you, and you'll get your prayer points back here in the catacombs. This is also a very nice way to gain seeds, and if you're in the catacombs, totem pieces while you're at it. The second medium clue method would be cannoning guards in Falador. If you complete the Falador medium diary, the drop rate for a medium clue goes up from 1 in 128 to 1 in 106, and even down to 1 in 100 with the medium combat achievements. Since Faldor is multi-combat, you could also tag all of them and just melee. And then we've arrived at the reason why I wanted to make this video. AFK Heart Clue Methods. 
This is what I usually do on my account. Heart clues are really good for monster clues, and they are in general just the best clue, let's be honest. The biggest recommendation I can give you is bursting or barraging temple spiders in the Forthos dungeon. These guys have a 1 in 200 drop rate of heart clues, which at first glance doesn't seem great, but it's actually completely AFK for 10 minutes. The spiders auto aggro, and the only thing you have to do is pick up the noted red spider eggs, rune med helmets, and grubby keys. And sometimes, sip a prayer pot. It's my go-to clue man AFK method, but it's very expensive in death runes and you will operate at a loss. If you don't want to do that and you want to train your melee stats, you can pose yourself back into the catacombs and stand in between the hellhounds. If you bring an Ash Sanctifier, you can actually train your prayer here too. If you guys don't know, the Ash Sanctifier is basically the Bone Crusher version, but then for ashes. Get your best prayer gear out and start auto-retaliating. You also have a small chance of a smoldering stone and some more totem pieces. This is maybe not a great heart clue method, but if you want to make money while also getting heart clues, get yourself full Guthan and pose yourself in the middle of the Gargoyles at the Slayer Tower. Now the only thing you really want here is the Gargoyle Smasher Slayer Point reward. This will make it so that your character will automatically destroy these Gargoyles when they're low HP. You'll get a ton of money and at the same time you'll farm a couple heart clues. In the same line of making money while also getting a bunch of heart clues, you can also kill Virewatch Sentinels. By completing Sins of the Father you unlock Darkmire, a city where you're not allowed to enter without the noble clothing. If you don't wear the noble clothing, everything in there will start attacking you, which is exactly what we want. This doesn't even take the aggression timer into account. You can just stand there with Protect from Melee, and there's even an altar nearby. All you need is a Blister with Flail, Super Combat Potions, and Prayer Gear. You can basically stay there indefinitely until the Auto Logout kicks in. Whilst going for Heart Clues, which are a 1 in 100 rate, which is pretty good, you'll get massive amounts of XP, Alcables, and even have a chance at the Blood Shard, an item worth 9 mil at the moment of recording this video. Definitely worth it to do on any account. Oh, this guy's about to die. Panic? Okay, he's got it, he's got it. Don't be this guy. If you thought elite clues were not AFKable, uh, you're somewhat right. But then again, in a previous video, I caught 500 crystal implings, and most of that was done almost completely AFK. What you want to do is post yourself in one of these four corners in Prif. These are all the crystal impling spawns. Only one crystal imp spawns every half an hour. So pick one of these spots, hop worlds, and turn the impling notification system on. If you type in impling on the rune light bar, and click settings, you can scroll down, and you can notify whenever a crystal impling is close to you. My favorite spot is at the bridge, so I just stand there, hop worlds, do whatever I'm doing on the other screen, and every once in a while a notification will pop up on that screen. That means that there is a crystal imp nearby, I catch it, I hop worlds again, get back to the spot, and continue. The world hopping does get annoying every once in a while, but in general you barely have to look at the screen because the notification does the work for you. And that is the video. I hope I helped some of you guys getting some clue scrolls, because RuneScape is basically the game that we all play, but we try very hard not to play. So this is why you're getting a bunch of AFK methods in case you wanted to hunt some clues for yourself, but don't really want to do it actively, because most of the methods are pretty intense. I strongly advise you guys to watch my previous episode of the Clue Scroll Only Iron Man episode 100, and if you've never seen the series, smash through the playlist. If you want to binge something, there's a hundred episodes right there in that playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to become a member on this YouTube channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. The button is down below. I'm not forcing you to do anything. I already appreciate you watching this video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh my god, are you kidding? Well, I opened the one beginner clue I got from this video and just got a collection lock slot on the X-Hardcore. <laughs>